Oh, hi. Um, so I'm gonna talk about this one. I'm gonna talk about the cursor. Um, well, there is a lot of uh, important parts in terms of cursor. Um, you, what I want to show you is. Let me just copy this code and paste it in here. So what I'm gonna show you is, uh, I got a file. See here, is this uh, land cover file? Actually, this one. And it got a table, right? Um, like a whole bunch of table here. So I could actually use the um, see here a search cursor um, to get all the data of in the attribute table, right? Um, but before we do that, um, I want to emphasize is make sure you use da um, dot search cursor. Okay, use da. That's the most um, that's the best one, right? Um, and before you do that, you have to get the list or the field's name you want. Uh, I use here. I use um, this compre comprehension. Uh, I got the list, uh, and then in every list, I use the name attributes right of the occupy list uh, fields object uh, just make sure remember this code okay uh, just name make sure you add uh, name down here and you create a field right um, see here I can create a fields and the fields here is then I got see here I got all the fields down here all right, um, and 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 once I have fields, I just use the search cursor. I create a search cursor. I uh, you got the name of the file, and make sure you include the field. Okay, and then um, you create a cursor. Just run it. See here, the cursor is created, and after create a cursor, so this cursor basically is kind of like a data frame right but it's uh, archive special um, special one you cannot just print the data frame directly so you have to do a for loop to get all the rows and you can print every row so basically every row is a two part okay you can you can look at this here so every is a two part so you see here is um, so um, you can print them row by row all right basically that's what that means right um and uh, just make sure after that you want to delete um so you know so this layer this data js data can still be used and here update cursor uh it's kind of the same thing you can use update cursor to look at the uh, data in your um Table that's true, all right. Uh, so usually you can just use update the cursor, I guess. Um, the only difference is when you you know use update the cursor, um, you do everything. All the data is list instead of two part. Okay, that's the only difference. Okay, and also use update the cursor. Um, you just you can like change. See here, I I want you know row one equals row two, or you know plus and multiply uh, multiply by two okay let's just do this if I hit enter and you know just make sure you uh, update the row okay every time you make a change you want to update the row okay update that row okay remember that part. and then uh, after I run this and I see here See here, this all changed. Okay, this two, this one, this four, this two. Okay, it's really easy, really handy. Um, you know, you can always use the sophisticated like field calculator to do that, but this is another way of doing. It, all right. Uh, so just remember that. Um, I will see you next.